Hey everyone, so in today's video we're going to be doing another devotional and for those of you this might be your first video, check out the playlist because I have started creating devotionals every Monday just of God's word and what he's speaking to me and what I just want to share with you, um, what I've come across in my quiet times and things that have really meant a lot in my life. So let's dive on in. Um, I want you guys to think of something that scares you and terrifies you and kind of can keep you up at night. So think about that thing. Okay, you got it? Okay. So when you think of that thing, does the thought of you going into heaven and God saying, I don't know you, does that ever pop in your head? Because in today's verse, we are going to be coming across um, a, t a section where Jesus is talking to his disciples and um, he mentions, you know, people that think they're coming into heaven and when they don't, or when they do come into heaven, the Lord saying, I never knew you. So let's read Matthew chapter 7 verses 21 through 23 together. It says, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, didn't we prophesy in your name, drive out demons in your name, and do many miracles in your name? Then I will announce to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you lawbreakers. So, you know, that section scares me. It scares me the thought of, you know, going into heaven and God not knowing who I am. And the question popped in my head, well, how can I avoid this? What can I do while I'm here on this earth to avoid this and keep this from happening when I go into heaven? And, and the main thing, and it says right there in the scripture, to do your Father's will. And what exactly is our Father's will? Our Father's will is accepting that Jesus Christ is His Son and, and accepting Him in our hearts. And we can do that two ways, only two ways. There's no middle ground. You can no get... You, you, you can no get, you cannot get like Jesus-ish. Like you need to completely and wholeheartedly follow Jesus Christ and accept him into your own life. You can either accept or reject. And there is a passage in Mark, um, Mark chapter 8, 38, and it says, Whoever is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, the Son of Man will also be ashamed of him when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. So that right there is telling me that we shouldn't be ashamed of Christ. We should say boldly that we are Christ followers. We follow Jesus, and that is how we base our life. So a way for us to avoid getting into heaven and God saying, I never knew you, is to accept Jesus into our heart. And and when we accept him into our heart, there's two ways. We can either accept him or reject him, and we don't need to be ashamed of living for Jesus and him being our Savior at all. And one another way is there's a narrow gate in this life. And in the verses before we get to the verse 21 through 23, in the beginning of chapter 7, it talks about how entering the kingdom of heaven, there is a narrow gate. And then there's also a wide gate that leads to destruction. And guys, this is talking about the world that we live in. There are so many ways that we have been distracted that we have been consumed in the world and not consumed in the word of Jesus Christ and so what we need to do with that is we need to make sure that we are in that narrow path that narrow gateway and we're not taking the wide gate of destruction which is part of the world so we need to be aware and we need to be cautious of what we're thinking saying doing who we're hanging around who we are surrounding ourselves with because guys, that's ultimately who we start acting like. If you fill your mind and your soul with the word of God and you fill yourself with positive things, that is normally how you're going to turn out. But if you fill your mind with things on social media um, and everything going on in the world right now, that is how your mindset is going to be. So guys, it's a narrow gate. We need to follow him. We don't need to be a part of this world. And this third part is to do his 
will. And guys, this is like one of the hardest, one of the hardest parts. These, all these parts are hard, but doing his will is hard because guys, sometimes it's hard to hear him. Whenever we are asking God for direction in our life, sometimes it's not always audible. Sometimes we hear it through verses or through people or through sermons and, and God just fills us with his spirit and speaks to us. But we need to do his will and his will in his in this life is to have a relationship with him and to repent not to only have a relationship with him but to also change um and change is hard when you become a christ follower it can be very very hard and and as you are going through and navigating this life you have to ask for understanding completely wholeheartedly pray for that all the time um, in Luke chapter 6, verses 46 to 49, it says, Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and don't do the things I say? I will show you what someone is like who comes to me, hears my words, and acts on them. He is like a man building a house who dug deep and laid the foundations on the rock. When the flood came, the river crashed against that house and couldn't shake it because it was well built. But... The one who hears and does not act is like a man built a house on the ground without a foundation. The river crashed against it and immediately collapsed, and the destruction of that house was great. So guys, we have to build our foundation on Christ. And we also need to listen to his word and do it. We don't just need to listen and just, okay, and take it in and take in the knowledge. Guys, we have to do his word. And part of his word, some things he asks you to do can be hard and they're going to be uncomfortable, but we have to do what our father wants us to do. We need to do his will. And one of the um, things that we also need to do is we need to love God and we need to love people. Loving God and loving people if you look all throughout the Bible, it, and it even says that the greatest commandment is to love one another and love God. So we have to do that on this earth. Guys, people are difficult, and they're going to be difficult, but we have to show them love. We have to show them grace, just like God showed that to us. And, you know, whenever we do that, and we love God, and we love people, and we are serving, we are producing the fruit of God and that is proof that we are Christ followers. Guys, our works don't get us to heaven. It's not a works based system. You can't get to heaven by, you know, completing a checklist. And you also can't get to heaven through a family member. And it even um I came across a passage and it was saying that, you know, we are ultimately the ones that decide. Not our family, not our church, not our mom, not our dad, not our grandparents. We are the ones who decide whether we're gonna follow Christ. And that decision is what's going to base our fate of eternity, whether we're gonna be in heaven or we're gonna be in hell. Because guys, there's no in between. You're either gonna be in heaven or you're either gonna be in hell. So which one do you pick? I'm not saying this to get on you. I'm saying this because when I became a Christ follower, I just thought, oh, I can look the part and do this and serve in the church and, you know, not cuss and everything will be okay. And no, that's not it. Like, you have to have a relationship. You have to be praying. You have to do a quiet time. You have to talk to God. Sometimes you have to cry. <laughs> and talk to God. I do that and it's completely normal. Guys, you have a father in heaven who loves you so much. And all he wants from us is love and for us to do his will and for us to help others know his love. So guys, we don't want to come to the end of our lives when we're right there and God say, I never knew you. That's scary. That's something that we don't want to come to. And, and we can avoid that by doing God's will and accepting his son as our savior. 
we can do that by not going on the broad pathway with a narrow gate into his kingdom. We can do that by asking for his will in this life, having a relationship with him, repenting and changing. Guys, it's hard, but we can do it because we have Christ who gives us power. We have the Holy Spirit living inside of us and we can do this. And then we have to love God, guys, and we have to love people. That is why we are on this earth. We are on this earth to make God look good, and we do that by our actions, by our speech, and by what's in our heart. Guys, he knows what's in your heart, whether what you're doing is for good or if it's for evil. And we have to be on guard against the enemy. He's always prowling around. He's always trying to tear you down and trying to get you to not follow God. But guys, we have to follow him. He's our loving father. He doesn't want us to be away from him. He wants us to talk to him daily, sometimes many times a day, and just share our heart and our thoughts with him. And guys, we have to be open. We can't have our hands clenched. We have to surrender our lives. And we can't just say, but God, I, I want to keep that. Guys, we have to let him be in control. And guys, once we let him be in control of our lives, I don't think that when we get to heaven, he will say, I never knew you. Now, guys, I'm going to close this out in prayer. And if you have any ideas on future videos that you want me to talk about, topics you want me to talk about, um, let me know down below. This topic can be kind of heavy. It can be kind of hard. But, guys, we don't need to live this life and not do what he wants. We need to live this life for him, and we need to follow his will. And sometimes we need guidance, and we have to ask him for that. So, let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for these people who are watching this video. And God, I pray that you can speak to each one of these people and that you can let them know the areas in their life, God, that they are needing to give up and surrender to you. So Lord, that when we get into heaven, God, that we don't have to worry about you saying, I never knew you. Lord, help us to live for you every day. God, show us areas in our life where we can grow, where we can learn to trust you, Lord, and just completely give our lives to you. And God, we thank you for um, everything you've done, God. And we just pray for people who are affected by the things going on in this world, Lord, that you would just restore them and help them to get to know you. And Lord, I pray for every single person person that's watching this, God, that you would just speak into their heart, Lord, and just help them to get closer with you and to pursue you daily. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it was kind of heavy, but it is something that we need to work on. We don't want to get to heaven for him to say, I never knew you. Um, I love you guys. I'm praying for you guys. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.